What's up guys, it's Giannis Outlaw here, and today we're out here with Cal from Optics Planet. Uh, we're actually shooting his Braverman uh, Stinger, which is the first time I have ever seen or played with this gun, and it is, uh, it's really fun. It is a pen gun, for those of you who've seen like US Marshals and all that fun stuff. Uh, however, this is NFA legal, uh, so you don't have to have a tax stamp or anything to own one of these, although they're out of production, they're very expensive, and they're extremely hard to shoot, as we've found out. Uh, so we're gonna shoot this a little bit today, and hopefully I'll do as well as I did off camera, uh, and that wasn't even very good. Uh, but they're a really fun gun to shoot, and they are a uh, real chameleon. Uh, if you saw this, you wouldn't think it was a firearm, so that's kinda cool. It even has a little pen clip on it. So how this thing works, at least to my knowledge, uh, which isn't vast, uh, Cal just showed me how to shoot it just a second ago, is you pull it out like this, and uh, that cocks it, sorry about that, and then this is your safety mechanism here, and then this is how you load it. Pop the uh, barrel off here, breech load it, single shot, and then this is your trigger mechanism right here, which is, is that the worst trigger you've ever felt? No, cop derringer definitely takes the kick. Fair enough. The upward motion of it takes a little practice, and I've been down here messing with it, and I've developed a little bit of a technique where I put three fingers on it like that, press in with my uh, uh, strong side thumb there, and then kind of pull up like that. So we'll see if that works. It probably won't. If not, we'll watch you fail. Right, right, which is also fun. All right, so now that I have pulled the trigger here and forgotten my battery of arms, we're gonna load the uh, chamber. And then at some point, put on my ear pro, which I imagine will be done right now. Because it is a 25 auto. A uh, little bit more powerful than a 25 long rifle, or a 22 long rifle, sorry. So we're gonna pop it on fire here, or we're not. Oh, we gotta cock it first, and that's how we cock it. Then we put it on fire. Then we walk closer. And we got a hit. <laughs> about 10 yards. That's pretty good. So then the, the technique we found that works the best, uh, Cal told me about this, is we cock it again, just like that. And then uh, we put it on safe, remove the uh, uh, cartridge. And what did we have, a 50 second reload? That was our... Uh, 50 yeah. seconds, you got two shots on target. Yeah, 50 seconds, two shots on target from about 10 yards is the, uh, is the uh, performance that you can expect from the Stinger. And I got to toot my own horn here a little bit, but he did say I have the longest shot with the Stinger, which is 15 yards, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll throw it on fire here again. And we'll miss, because I suck. Rack it, safe. This is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It conserves ammo. I, I suppose it's that a, is It's a correct. real good uh, a crisis gun. If you're looking to save ammo, pick this guy up. Here's to hoping any time you need a pen gun, you get him on the first shot. Yeah? Right. So if you want to get him for sure, you got to be about right here. And even then, you got to make sure your grip's good. Oh, Lord. It's a, it's a belly gun, that's for sure. And the reload is not fast. I'm gonna point her in the air here while I walk back. Good gun safety. Temple index. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try one more uh, for video purposes. And we're gonna use some cover and we're gonna shoot it at 15 yards here. Oh, wow. That way I can look cool while I miss. And I walked directly in front of that one, so good job, me. All right. I don't know where that went. Well, you got something. Did I? We'll Definitely just hit the berm. Oh, did I? I nice. Saw dust uh, all the way over there. <laughs> Try one more. I want to get a hit from longer than I got last time on camera. That might be pushing it, babe, but I guess we'll see. Straight to 75 yards. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Believe in yourself. 
The stinger that could? Well, I couldn't hit from 15 on camera, so we might as well try 20. Oh, Lord. You gotta get your hand placed correctly to pull the trigger back straight to the rear. Ooh, top right. Ain't happening. So accuracy, not ideal. It's not ideal. All right, so remember to spin it off safe and then pull the trigger slowly and be very careful with the side to side. And up? You can just shoot it right in the berm. You don't have to shoot it at anything. Well, what fun is that? Well, don't shoot that, don't shoot that. What do you want me to shoot? Uh, just shoot one of those plates over there. A plate? Sure. You can do it. Are you serious? Whoa. This is, this is harder than I assumed. What do you think? Uh, not what I would choose to protect myself with, but a cute novelty, a cute expensive novelty nonetheless. All right, so the Stinger is super cool, but it is very hard to shoot. I would argue it's the hardest gun I've ever tried to shoot. Well, yeah, pretty close. But you're right, Derringers are right up there too. However, this thing is just so awkward and so weird. And it's funny that it doesn't have any texture down here where you would grip it, you know, because it feels like it wants to move a little bit. It's awfully slippery. Yeah, once once you get used to it, it's also really hot out. It's like almost 100 degrees right now too, so there is that. But it's still super cool. Would you carry it? Well, that's up to you. But it is certainly cool, and it is, well, in all fairness, it's reliable. We've shot like 15 rounds through it now, and no malfunctions. As reliable, it yet not very accurate. Uh, it's not very accurate. That's, that's not a thing it does well. It puts um, smiles on the face. It does. Yeah, yeah. It, it's fun to shoot. And 25, you know, 25 is a capable caliber-ish, right? Oh, for water bison, rhinoceros? Yeah, rhinoceros, that's what it's there for. <laughs> it, it will certainly kill a carpenter ant. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's a cool gun for sure, and I had a lot of fun shooting it. You're absolutely right. It is very fun, and if you have the opportunity to shoot one, don't be shy. It is very fun. However, it does take a little getting used to with the battery of arms, and certainly the trigger and grip uh, interface is a little bit difficult to get used to. And if it were mine, I'd put a little grip tape there because I'm a little psycho. Well, but, you uh, put grip tape on everything. I know I do. All right, but that, yeah. Thanks, Cal, and I just want to thank Optics Planet for uh, coming down and dropping this off. And uh, not dropping it off, but letting me shoot it for a minute. And uh, if you're interested in any targets, gun accessories, anything like that, go check out Optics Planet, because without them, you wouldn't be seeing this little badass. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.